People from the town of Glenwood, located on Lake Minnewaska, are offering their thoughts and prayers to Hunter's family. Lifeguards say the beach where he was swimming has been quiet this week, and until yesterday, they didn't see even one swimmer enter the water. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield reports on how Hunter's death is rippling through a tight-knit community. In Glenwood, at this family resort, this is typically the busiest month of the year. July is huge. But aside from the post-fourth lull, there's an extra stillness in this town, an extra heaviness. Our lake is safe, um, but to this family, it wasn't. We're thinking and praying for them. It seems this lake is now a place people just don't want to be. Many customers have called and said they're not coming to this lake for the rest of the year, maybe even not next year. If we can provide some reassurance to people, we certainly want to take the action that we can to do that. So the mayor has asked his public health official to spread this message. Swimming in Lake Minnewaska is as safe as swimming in any lake in the nation. Um, the fact that there's been one confirmed case from this lake does not make the lake more dangerous. And a few people did get back in the water. This is kind of the, the beauty of our place. Scott Crump says he's going to try and get his guests back by concentrating on above water activities. But he knows his family's summer loss is only temporary. First priority is to the family and to show our, our love towards them and to pray for them and have others pray for them. and. Um, and then to find out more. Glenwood's mayor says the city is working with state and local organizations to gather information on the situation that can be distributed to the general public.